Hyperbaric oxygen therapy. It is well known as a treatment for scuba divers who suffer from decompression sickness. However, very few medical professionals have used the therapy to treat other conditions feeling it's ins there's insufficient evidence that the therapy works. But a Louisiana State University doctor disagrees and has the cases showing it can. Robert Boyton was a happy, active kid, full of life, but that all changed when he fell into a pond in his yard and nearly drowned. He was recovered from the pond by his sister, uh, between his sister, uh, the police that came and EMS, they did CPR on him for about 45 minutes. They got Robert to the hospital where he was resuscitated, but the prognosis was gloomy. We were sent home with a child we were told would never open his eyes, never speak, never react. Then there was Amy Grady, who had already signed the paperwork to donate her son Connor's organs after he suffered neurologic injuries at birth and was given a grim prognosis. There was no other options for us. Um, we went home with a baby who was going to die. Both families were getting ready for the worst outcome, but then they found Dr. Paul Harsh, who specializes in hyperbaric oxygen therapy, or HBOT, which uses pure oxygen to promote healing. The injury process usually involves uh, reduction in blood flow and oxygen. The increase of oxygen during therapy helps carry that oxygen throughout the body, stimulating the release of growth factors. When Robert got to Dr. Harsh, his body... It was bent completely backwards, and his rear end was within eight inches of the back of his head. Two days after his first treatment, that bend was gone. Now further into the treatments, he's eating, moving his arms and legs, and laughing. After Connor's first treatment... He was kicking, playing on his mat. It honestly changes so much for me and hope and his potential outcome for his future life now. Now, both families had to wait months to get this treatment because their original hospitals did not offer it. And in Robert's case, his hospital did have hyperbaric oxygen therapy, but refused to offer it due to protocol.